Hello again guys, just another little quick gear review video and yeah I recently uh, purchased some OEX x -Lite carbon 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 <laughs> trekking poles with uh, the older uh, click lock uh, settings on them got them from, uh, from Go Outdoors they were in the sale and they cost me £30 so that's a decent sort of price for me uh, they're a little bit better than my last ones I had I had a set of uh, crag hoppers with like cork handles and they were sort of like the twisting you know sliding sort of mechanism and that eventually after several repair jobs finally jammed and broke so I thought get myself some click lock ones I've got the specs here on the, like the back of the, the packaging uh, let's have a look super lightweight carbon fibre and aluminium composite pole set with quick locking system comfort grip and wrist strap uh, carbon fiber with 60 61 grade aluminium quick locking telescopic pole EVA comfort handle tungsten tipped so oh pole anyway uh, hang on ah there we go there's your tungsten tips uh, TPR foot pad those it's got the baskets as well I've left them clipped on there for the moment uh, size extended 1350mm, size close 625mm, uh, weight per pole 205 grams, so not too heavy, and maximum load 70 kilos. Of course, you won't be putting all your body weight on them. I definitely find walking poles help with uh, sort of long distance hikes and stuff. I try to keep the pack weight down as much as I can. Uh, but they're just good for like, really I think they just help with your joints and stuff really. Um, not that I'm sort of like old or particularly unfit, being a personal trainer, but it, you know it helps. And I'm just thinking it it will serve me well in the long run as well. So hopefully I can continue doing this for many years to come. And of course also, they're great for setting up shelters with as well, like your tarp and stuff like that if you're using like a tarp and bivy set up so you know dual purpose really and i find they're good for sort of testing the depth of like rivers and streams if you've got to cross them um if you're trying to cross sort of muddy sections as well you know is is you've got that extra support i can sort of use them to like jump across as well and things like that so yeah they feel as i say really light 205 grams each light as a feather and yeah i'm gonna sort of try setting up sort of tarps and stuff with those and so you'll see those in use and I'm going to crack them out on a couple of day walks as well anyway that's about it really I mean I don't really think there's much more you can say about a set of trekking poles um yeah well worth a look if you're once again if you're looking to get you know sort of you, your equipment on a budget maybe you're new to it once again cheap equipment 30 quid for a pair of poles believe me is pretty cheap I saw some in outdoors that were like a hundred pound or more and I just thought I'd rather just go for the cheap thing if they break I'll just replace them again and yeah if you're thinking of using sort of tarp shelters they're perfect to set up with um, and then of course you'll use them the next day for walking as well so yeah brilliant anyways that's all from me and yeah You'll see us in the next one. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think. Whether you rate trekking poles or not. And yeah. Cheers guys. See you later.